So welcome to another unboxing video or vlog. Um, what day is it? Wednesday lunchtime. It is 12.45. Um, let's do an unboxing. Before I do, do you like my um, jumper? My hoodie? I got this for my birthday. Thank you very much to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, niece and nephew. So we have a box to unbox so let's get this open and see what's inside so I bought this on Monday or Tuesday I can't remember now but I've been keeping an eye out for quite a while since earlier this year because really well I'll wait until I get in it let's just get in it first <coughs> and I'll show you what it is and then I'll explain there we go, so we have inside the box um, Is that a delivery note or a returns note or something? Bit of packaging and then we have a bike hut um, One of their front lights, rechargeable 1600 lumens front light So this is the one that's the power bank as well USB rechargeable, this gets really good write-ups £40 in the Black Friday sales I got this for on Monday so £40 for that I think is pretty good now I really wanted I was looking for the Cat Eye Volt 1600 but nobody's got them you can get the lower power ones and nobody's had them for a while so I figured oh they must be replacing it but I've not seen what the replacement is so I thought I'd got get this so it says uh, 1600 lumen High quality 6400 milliamp hour rechargeable battery from LG, so LG are good. Um, power bank display lets you know exactly how much charge you've got left. Obviously it can be used as a power bank as well. Eight lighting modes. So on full 1600 it's only going to last an hour. 1000 2 hours, 640 3 hours, 240 9 hours. 15 lumens, 96 hours, flashing mode, well, day flashing mode, 30 hours, pulse 30 hours, flash 80 hours. Now, really I've got this for commuting to work, or as a backup uh, for those longer rides, just in case two things happen. One, you're out at night, and your main light fails so I've got a backup light So because I want to do a 100 mile ride at night at some point so that means being out for 6 hours plus also if you're out at night and you get a puncture pardon me, or mechanical it means you've got something that you can use so let's unpack it see what's in the box I don't want to come out there we go, it's coming. So we've got in here a bit of instructions, charge cable, little rubber mount, just some instructions, and then the actual light itself. There we go. So we'll go and weigh this after. It's got a rubber rubber strap to fix it with. That is fixed onto there with an Allen bolt. So you could, in theory, change that. I don't. <coughs> Pardon me. I've just been eating my dinner. Um, you could change that adapter. Oh, look, it turns as well. So that means it's loose. Okay. So you could put a different adapter on there for fixing it somewhere. So I will have to tighten that up. I don't think there's anything else in there. And we've got little rubber cover on the back. That's the power bank one, I think.
Yeah, that's the power bank one, that's the charge one. Okay, is there anything in it? So it says at the moment, I don't know whether you can see the lights. I'd have to read the instructions to find out how to get it to turn on. I don't need to charge it up anyway, so I will get that charging up later. I might use it tonight, I might use it at the weekend. But yeah, when I when I start work at this new place in January, um, I'm six miles away from work, so I need light that I can use, um, and this will do the job. I could use my um, one that I normally use, but that's neater. I can charge it up while I'm at work without having to carry a charger. All I need is a cable. Great, so just a short unboxing video. We'll go downstairs and I'll weigh it and let's have a look at weighing it, shall we, and see what it weighs. I think that must be an adapter to um, reduce it down for different handlebar sizes, perhaps. There we go. Yeah, so that's better, isn't it? So you're going to need that as well, I think. I suspect. There we are. And you can you could angle it, I suppose, couldn't you? So yeah, that's that's pretty neat. That. So we'll see how that fits on the handlebars, and I might try it tonight or at the weekend. So let's go downstairs and weigh it. Right. So kitchen scales. Let's turn them on. Get them to turn on. Come on. Well, I'm pressing the off button because I'm looking at the camera. There we go. So, put that on there. And then, as you see, it says 235 grams. And apparently, you press that and hold it to turn it on. There we are. So that's full power. Oh, that's bright. Ramping down. That's like strobing up and down in brightness. Flash. And that's an odd one as well. Yeah, very good. Turn it off. So I'll get that charged up. Let's turn this way so you can see me. I'll get that charged up and then um, give it a go and let you know what I think when I give it a go. So that should be useful for commuting to work. The other one that I was thinking of was the Chile Technology front light that I've got, which is good. I used that on Sunday night when I was out doing the 50 miles. Um, that's good. So if I had that on medium power for a lot of that ride, most of that ride, high beam, a lot of it as well and it lasted the three hours it lasted that but I've got a spare battery with it as well so but I just don't want to have to carry a battery on the bike I just want a neat little unit and as I said for this as well I'll be able to use it not only as a backup on my longer rides this time of year I'll be able to go out on Sunday and just have this on the bike and then it'll also double as um, a power bank for the Garmin should that need charging Plus, if I run out of daylight, I can be seen. So, useful. And for £40. Bargain. Right, thanks for watching. See you later.